Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari, GCFR, Your Excellency, Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado, the President of Ghana, Your Excellency, Maki Sal, the President of Senegal, Your Excellency, Mala Mohamed Bazoum, the President of Niger Republic, Your Excellency, Mr. Apare Nasingbe, the President of Togo, the representative of the President of Chad, the President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Deputy Speaker of the National House of Representatives, my boss, the Chairman of our party, the Chief Presiding Officer of the sixth largest economy in Africa, Baba Jide Sangu Olu, our executive governors present here, our senators, captains of industry, our royal fathers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I deliberately omitted mentioning the man of the moment. Charles Presby's court said, neither in what it gives, nor in what it does not give, nor in his mode of presentation, was the unclouded pace of truth so far wrong. Comment is free, but facts are sacred. At the risk of sounding immodest, I dare put forward this claim. And in the past 100 years, the single kinetic presence in Nigeria's business permanent is known other than Al Haji Aliko. Dangote. He's a phenomenal investor. He is the authentic game changer. Isaac Newton said for all that he was able to accomplish, he stood on the shoulders of giants. For all that I was able to accomplish, I stood on the shoulders of giants. I am a grateful person, and for every opportunity, I will never cease to acknowledge the presence of my benefactor and mentor, Mr. Jim Obia, the founder of Zenith Bank. <laughs> Today ranks without doubt as one of the greatest days in the contemporary annals of our nation's history as we witness the commissioning of the Dangote Refinery and Petrochemicals Company. Given the huge prospects of this gigantic project, in reversing Nigeria's near Africa's reliance on imported petroleum products, in generating the much needed foreign exchange, in generating a humongous quantum of jobs, and in stabilizing the Naira, it is safe to say that the Dangote refinery will be the most consequential single project to come on stream in recent times and is bound to have a huge impact on the growth and development of our economy and positively influence the life and well-being of our people. I will therefore, like on behalf of the President-elect Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinibu, to heartily commend and congratulate Al Haji Aliko Dangote and the Dangote Group for not only ambition in this significant project, but for their courage, resilience, and staying power in bringing this outstanding edifice to fruition. Nigeria, and indeed Africa, is proud of you, Al Haji Ali Kodangote. Let me use this opportunity to also praise all the Nigerian entrepreneurs who have already embarked on similar projects following Dangote's shining example and call on others to also follow suit. I would also like to commend and congratulate the federal government. There is a saying amongst the Kanuri people of Borno that honey, you can say honey in a container might be incomplete, but you cannot say honey is bitter. 
love him, hate him. This project was commenced in 2017, when President Muhammad Buhari was at the helm of IPS in this nation. And it got completed under his stewardship. We have to acknowledge and commend him. And acknowledge and commend the government and people of Lagos State for creating the enabling environment for this project to come to fruition. I wish to once again congratulate the Aliko Dangote Group for this gigantic project and also use this opportunity to assure that the incoming administration will do whatever possible to upscale and sustain the tempo of this project. I wish to once again thank you. And lastly, lastly, Africa is not all about the crisis in Sudan. Africa is not all about poverty, deprivation, and destitute. Africa is not all about insecurity. I hope the CNN, the BBCs, and the Sky News of this world will be around to give maximum coverage to this function. Thank you very much, and may God bless us all.